Hi everyone, happy Mindful Monday to you. Today I wanted to expand on uh, what we've been talking about. Now for the past few weeks we've been talking about living happily ever after. And really what that boils down to is accepting personal responsibility. So I'm going to build a little bit more on this because uh, a lot of us struggle with different issues in our lives and sometimes we might wonder what's wrong with us. Uh, why are we struggling in certain areas? Why does it look like someone else has it easier? Why does it seem like maybe someone else has a better uh, marriage or relationship or life than us? Um, and while there are many different answers to this, and we can and we can also look at this from very many different perspectives, um, I have previous videos where we've talked about the grass is greener where you water it. So if we're busy looking at someone else's life, wishing that we had theirs, uh, we need to look at what are they doing that that we're not doing. Sometimes what someone else has that we think we want, we don't really want. If we really sat down and assessed what they go through to get that or maybe it violates our personal values. But moving along from there, um, just thinking about why do I struggle with these certain things? The first thing that pops into our heads is there's something wrong either with me or with them. And so this is something that we really have to look out for. Now, I'm not speaking about situations, again, that are toxic and um or perhaps abusive right i'm talking about situations that really we can improve because the power is in our hands we've just been handing it off to somebody else um and into in a way not taking personal responsibility for the part that we play in it okay so why we have dysfunctional habits um, in our lives can vary, but often it has a lot to do with the way that we were raised, with the way that we functioned as children in our respective families of origin. So that means with your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, or whoever else you lived with uh, growing up as a child. Anything that you absorbed or evaluated um, as the norm in your family of how communication was done, how conflict was done, that is essentially what you're going to mirror. And so if you haven't realized that just yet, take a moment and think about what it was like growing up and what and how your parents behaved. And now stop and take a look at how you behave. More often than not, it is a direct result of learned behavior from your family. And so what happens is, is that when two people come together, friendship, relationship, marriage, you're going to quickly find out that the other person doesn't do things the way that you do. And if you haven't discovered this prior to marriage, um, and I really recommend premarital counseling to figure this out so that you are ready beforehand. But if you have not, you're now going to see that there are two very different ways of communicating. And so it's very essential to one, uh, choose to not to play the blame game because it really will not get you anywhere. Uh, if you have been playing it, you know full well that it can just escalate into eruptions. Everyone can sling mud and find something wrong with the other person. Um, and it's just going to build bitterness and hatred in our hearts, okay? A critical heart, a bitter heart is not going to be able to love. So let's face it, the sooner we forgive and choose that that's not how we want our lives to look, the quicker we're going to be able to move on and love in our full capacity. So the next thing that can happen is we blame ourselves. So we don't want to look at ourselves, we blame others. And if, we, if we're the sort that are not, we're not introspective and we wanna, we we're blaming ourselves and we're hard on ourselves, that can happen as well. And, and the tendency is there's something wrong with me. So I wanted to speak to that real quick. Blaming yourself, just like blaming somebody else, is not going to help any situation. And the reason for that is, is that it continues to take your power away from you. It continues to lie to you and say, well, 
this is just the way I am, so I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Or, well, this is just the situation and how he or she is, and so there's nothing that we can do about it. When the reality couldn't be further from the truth. Even if you have some kind of habit that you are enabling your partner to treat you a certain way, or if you're doing something that you wish you didn't do, the power still remains in your hands because you have the power to change your habits and the quicker that you accept personal responsibility regardless of how it was learned whether your parents did it whether your family members did it whether you grew up that way whatever it was it doesn't matter how horrible your upbringing is you can now st stop and say it ends here I will not allow this to continue in my life. I will accept personal responsibility for how I am behaving, how I am mirroring what I might have always hated my whole life, and how am I going to now change and therefore change, my, change in my family and change my relationships, change my marriage. It is possible for everyone if we are willing to be brave enough to be vulnerable and be brave enough to say the buck stops here. I am practicing self-awareness and, and, and realize I don't need to blame someone else. I don't need to blame myself. I have played a role in this now. What can I do? If you want to hear more and you're wondering what it is that has got you stuck in your life, feel free to message me, email me, visit my website for a counseling session and we can dig into it further. If you have figured it out, I urge you to take the first steps right now and start to alter them if you can. Um, it's really, really worth it. Have a great week.